Welcome back to the fishing playthrough everyone. This is post commentary because I accidentally recorded the video without any commentary. So right here at the beginning we're going to open up some crates that I've been holding out on uh, ones I collected over time because opening crates in hard mode you get way better loot and uh, we're going to see if we can get a bunch of ore and a bunch of goods that we get from crates in hard mode and uh, hopefully we come out on top but I'm going to tell you right now we're going to do a goblin invasion later because I'm watching this video. And sorry if I was really loud a second ago. I'm looking at the audacity wave files and something, some noise I made was really loud. I'm going to move my chair, ignore that. But yeah, we're going to open up these crates. We got eight iron ones, four golden ones. And sorry if I'm speaking away from the mic. I'm using my second monitor, which is to the right of me and my mic is to the left. But yeah, we got this new witch doctor house I've been working on. I still got to do a little bit more styling to it. And I gotta definitely make a lot more houses. I think I might make like a third floor for this because uh, I need to compact a little bit more houses into one area. That or just be a cool design in general. But yeah, as you see, we got one cobalt bar. We got two cobalt ore from something. Now the iron crates, we should get a lot better loot. We have a chance to get greater healing potions too, which help a lot. But yeah, I'm just selling all the stuff I don't need. Master bait, that's the best bait around. I'm pretty good at that. Uh, excuse me. Uh, 14 adamantite bar. That's crazy good. That's really good. Uh, ginger beard. I don't really need that. I'm just gonna sell it. it. Looks cool and everything, but we already got our. Ooh, we got the tartar sauce with some in the mini minotaur. Really nice. But yeah, I don't really need the ma not the master bait, but whatever I just sold. And now we got the golden crates, platinum bar. That's garbage. Uh, what else we got? There's the greater healing potions. Those will help a lot. Titanium 23 titanium that's crazy and then the hardy saddle which I thought was uh, a The pigron saddle or pigron whatever you need to summon in the pigron And I got really happy when I was recording this and then I was like wait a minute It's that shitty turtle that can swim underwater really fast not even that fast It's okay, but I want to try and find a use for it Because this playthrough is all about like using not only fishing and trying to get through as a fisherman but also using a bunch of other items that never get used. And one of the items I'm going to have in the next episode. Well, actually, I'll talk about it later in the episode. But yeah, we're just going to run around. I'm going to do a jump cut here and we should be at a goblin invasion. So, the goblin invasion has arrived. We're going to be fighting the goblin summoner or sorcerer. Whatever one is the OP hard mode one. We're going to be fighting him uh, because we want to get the shadow flame bow just because it's a really good weapon and I have some good ideas to use it for. But yeah, we reforge our Toxic Carp here. Now I want to talk about the Toxic Carp and how good it is. It's a ranged weapon that doesn't use ammo and also can poison. That's crazy good and can be really useful. You saw how fast I got it. I entered hard mode and I got it. But yeah, we're going to be stopping by a Crimson World, not in this episode, but maybe in the later episode, next episode probably. Or maybe the next one after that. But we're going to get the Blade Tongue is something I want to get, which is a... Which is like the weapon in hard mode and when you fish for it. It's a sword that inflicts ecor buff. And uh, it's the theme as in like the corruption. If you fish in hard mode you get the toxic carp. The hollowed you get the crystal serpent I think. And then the crimson is the blade tongue. Which is really cool. That all those have their own little thing. You can fish. But yeah as you see there's the goblin summoner. I'm pretty sure that's what his name is. We get, I get two, I think I fight like three goblin invasions, not not in this episode, I cut all that out, but there was like three in a row and it pissed me off because every time I went above ground there's like a billion goblins just waiting to kill my NPCs. I don't think any NPCs die, but it pissed me off when NPCs die because the NPC, the same ones usually don't spawn in after they die, unless you get lucky. But yeah, we kill him, I get two shadow flame knives, I sell those because I used those before and they're pretty, they use pretty often. I don't see the bow used as often, so I do use the bow because I make a, I make the infinite like arrow musket, not arrow musket, arrow quiver or something like that, which is really cool. And I think later on in the playthrough, I want to try and go like super, super range maybe, because I haven't, I've never done like arrows, bows and bows, bows and was it repeaters, bows and repeaters only. Or whatever they're called which might be a future playthrough you never know i always wanted to do a like specific one weapon category playthrough like really specific like spears only the whole entire game or flails only the whole entire game 
Something like that. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for that, put that in the comments because that would be nice. To see what interesting like category we can do in that. Because that is something I can do in the future until the next update comes out or until mods start being in like a workshop on Steam. Because I think that's one of, the, one of the things they said they're going to do is uh, mod integration. And I would love to see that. But yeah, we're coming up to the end of the clip. Did I get it? Yeah, I did get the Shadow Flame Ball right here. Now, bad thing about it is it only shoots like regular Shadow Flame arrows that inflict the Shadow Flame buff. Now, I mean, uh, damage or whatever it's called. Now, that's a good thing and a bad thing because you can't use special arrows with this bow. But I'm okay with that because if you get the Endless Quiver, and I pretty much just use that. So, here we are in the hollow, the underground hollow, to catch a fish for the angler. Because we're coming up on 30 quests, and once we get to 30 quests, we get the golden fishing rod. Which we do get in the next episode. Spoiler alert. But it has to come eventually, doesn't it? But yeah, we're in, under, we're in the underground hollow to catch this fish. And my fishing power is crazy. It's really good. And we should we catch the fish really quick. But I'm going to set up a little. I'm going to make the water source a little bit bigger. Because they're all pretty close to each other. And I like the pink water in the granite biome. Pretty cool looking. But yeah. There's uh, not too many... This really there's two items that I really want to get from the angler. I think you get it from the angler, you might get it from crates, I'm not sure. But there's two items I really want to get that I've never seen anywhere. Well there might be like videos, like a spotlight video on the two items. But uh we'll come up on those very soon. I wanna have a separate video for each because I want to do something special for both of them. But you guys will see that when it comes. Yo, enemy shouldn't be a problem in the hollow. And there's actually something I want to do in the corruption. Uh, the underground corruption far enough to where we can get the souls of night and that is fight the eater of worlds because each of his segments i believe have a chance to drop souls of night unless they patch that but that is op if we can do that i gotta remember to do that either next episode or the episode after that because i did record some next episode today and then i just like took a break in the middle of recording holy hell oh my god watch out <laughs> Watch out right there. We got a rod of discord from this guy. I'm lying. But it would have been nice if I didn't. But yeah, that, like, the breakable ice. That thing scared me when I first encountered that. I was like, what is this new type of ice? And then I dropped through, like, the whole entire world. Holy. You guys saw that pig run? That pig run was cloaked. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, but yeah. We will fish. I think we'll fish. Unless we already did. I'm not even paying attention. And we're back to real commentary. So that like first like 30 minutes I played, I just noticed my mic was off. At least in Fraps, the option was turned off to have my mic on. But yeah, here we are. I'll just post commentate that and make it seem like I was actually commentating. I don't know. I was really dumb. I don't know why I didn't remember it was off. But yeah, I got some stuff to sell here. I uh, might as well sell all of this because we don't really need any of it. But yeah, let's open up these crates. What the heck? What the heck? Some... Uh, good and all right I'll take the cobalt and the heart reach potions those are actually legit good but yeah I want to go underground for a little bit see if I can test my luck here as in see if I can find the oh this is our calcum like right here I can't mind it though uh, see if I can find a skeleton merchant just chilling around anywhere because that would just be nice Rash of GPS does this no it doesn't I don't even know where he's, where he's found. He's found, like, randomly down here, right? Something like that. Let's get rid of these guys. But yeah, I really want the slappy hand, because that's a weapon I've never used before. And then we'll get some use out of the slappy hand, and then we'll go get uh, the blade tongue from the crimson. I don't know. I'm just going to say a bunch of things, and hopefully in post-com I actually say these things. Because I don't like post-commentating unless I really have to, guys. I'm going to die. These guys hit really hard. I don't have good enough armor yet. Can I mine this? I can't. Oh, cool. So 
So we will mine this cobalt. This looks different. I haven't seen cobalt in a long time. Yeah, I'll get all this cobalt. Just because cobalt armor. First thing, we're going to use it for like the destroyer. Because I am going to rely on potions and DPS for the destroyer. Uh, the, the main reason, I will use a melee weapon. Because the destroyer, not the destroyer, the cobalt armor is uh, one of the best armors. Because ever since the new like three metals came out in the hard mode, like or calcum and all that uh or calcium platinum is it platinum or titanium titanium and palladium they're obviously they got like better defense benefits i believe and to counteract that uh terraria the developers Terraria made it so that like the original armors have a little bit like better stats in specific spots which is really cool and i think cobalt has like a lot of melee damage or a lot of attack speed like one of the fastest attack speeds in the game I'm pretty sure something like that yeah we're just gonna search down here quick little run around see if we can spot anything hey my beautiful underground den that I made here I really like this area it's really nice but you guys want to drop anything some like armor maybe a beam sword that I probably won't get a lot of use out of because I don't really care but yeah I'm trying to get in the spirit of more using the uh, weapons that don't get used like at all and uh, we are slowly working our way towards that and obviously having this thing is like uh, the magic toxicarp the crystal fish and things like that we can get from other places from fishing what am I talking about? other places which are things that are never used and I wanna well I don't know about never used but I'm a fisherman it's part of the fisherman class I have to get these weapons these are like my primary weapons like the whole entire playthrough but yeah, I said in the past, it depends how far we go. I don't know if I'll go to the end, uh, like, Moon Boss, because that's just, that's going to be really hard to do. Moon Boss as a fisherman, like, man, that's, that's an incredible task right there. Hopefully, it can be done in, like, future updates with fishermen if you, like, do fishing and, like, grind. Because I, I feel like fishing can be rewardable if they add in, like, more things if you grind it out. Like, you're going to have to fish, like, 200 times get like I don't know like a super rod that catches hard mode things something like that that makes it so you can like oh oh all right we're completely fine Medusa is stupid things where you can get like OP weapons really OP weapons I'm talking about like like what I have right now toxic heart and the anchor and stuff like that I'm talking about stuff you can fight like the moon lord with like you can slowly work towards those type of weapons and that would be cool yeah that might be too much too much I'm asking though you never know what uh, the developers will do. And hopefully mods. I Yeah, mod support I'm pretty sure is coming out. They announced that. I'm positive they announced that. At some point that mod support is coming out. Because that would be nice to see uh, the community of Terraria just evolve. Because there's uh, people still working on it with on mods that is. Or slowly adding in. I don't know like community patches would be cool. But yeah, I'm going to end off this episode here. Uh, sorry if this episode seems weird. Like I said, I had to post com, which makes me really mad because I had some pretty good commentary. But uh, whatever, I'm gonna go find this dude, and if I find him, I'll put in a clip at the end of the video. Depends though, I probably won't find him. He's pretty hard to find. 